Dear students, you are going to move to the second part today. And the second part today is the quadrilaterals. We finished the basics or the simple basics about the triangle. And now we are going to the quadrilateral. In the quadrilateral, we need to know that the quadrilateral is any shape that form it from four sides. Any shape that form it from four sides. It's called a quadrilateral. No properties in it. If I have two sides are parallel, we call it trapezium. If two sides are parallel and the other two sides are equal, it's called isosceles trapezium or trapezoid. Trapezium, sometimes in the IG students' stream, they are using the word trapezium. For the American stream, they're using the word trapezoid. So both of them are the same. It's a shape or a quadrilateral four sides that two sides only are parallel. Now, if each opposite side are parallel is a parallelogram, the parallelogram can be rectangle, rhombus, and square. For a special case, we have something called kite. We are going to study each shape with its own properties. The first quadrilateral we are going to start with is the trapezium. Trapezium is a shape which two sides are parallel. Only two sides are parallel. As we can see, PQRS is a quadrilateral, but two sides are parallel, PQ and RS, so we called it trapezium. We called it trapezium. So trapezium is a quadrilateral in which one pair of opposite sides are parallel. One pair only of two opposite sides are parallel. But in case of I have two parallel sides, and two equal sides, this side is equal to these sides, but these two sides are parallel, it's an isosceles trapezium. What do you need to know about the isosceles trapezium? That the base angles are equal, and these two sides are equal. That's it. The second quadrilateral we are going to understand is the parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which the given properties are in it. First property, that two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. It means that each opposite side are parallel. PQ is parallel to SR and PS is parallel to QR. Again, PQ parallel to SR and QR is parallel to PS. So it's a quadrilateral in which two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. And that's not, that's it. No, it's not that set. We have more. We have that two pair of opposite sides are equal. Each two opposite sides are equal. So for the first and the second properties, I can say that each opposite sides are equal and parallel. Each opposite side are equal and parallel. So PQ parallel to SR and PQ equal to SR. RQ parallel to PS. And notice that this sign, these arrows, it means parallel. But this sign, it means that they are equal. Third property, that the post pair of opposite angle are equal in size. And equal in size, it means equal in measure. So measure of angle Q is equal to measure of angle S. And measure of angle P is equal to measure of angle R. Again, measure of angle Q is equal to measure of angle S. And measure of angle P is equal to measure of angle R. Opposite angles are equal. So what about Q and R? There's some up to 180. There's some up to 180. Fourth property is that diagonals bisect each other. A meaning of diagonals PR and QS. This is called diagonals. What do I mean by bisect each other? That this length is equal to that length. And this length is equal to that length. For example, if I call this point M, MQ is equal in length for MS and PM is equal to MR. So now I have some properties in the parallelogram. I should copy them in my mind that each opposite side are equal in the parallel, opposite angles are equal, diagonals bisect each other, and consecutive angles are supplementary if you wanted to add it to yourself. Now we go to the third uh, shape or the third quadrilateral, which is the rectangle. The rectangle is taking all the properties of the parallelogram. So initially, you can start with each opposite side are equal, each opposite angle are equal, each opposite side are parallel, diagonal bisects each other. But in the rectangle, you are going to add two properties for the parallelogram. The first property, that diagonals are equal in length. So SQ is equal to PA. SQ, SQ is equal in length 
to P R. S Q is equal to P R. Second thing that each angle inside the rectangle its measure is equal to 90 degree. Each angle is equal to 90 degrees. So there are two properties. I added to the parallelogram properties to give me the properties of the rectangle. Diagonals are equal. Each angle is equal to 90. Diagonals are equal and each angle is equal to 90 degrees. Now let's go to the fourth quadrilateral and the fourth quadrilateral is the rhombus. Rhombus is taking all the properties of the parallelogram. So again, we are going to repeat that each opposite side are equal and parallel, each opposite angle are equal, diagonals bisect each other. But we are going to add three properties in the rhombus which are not in the rectangle, which are not in the rectangle. And these, the three properties are that both of opposite sides are equal. And I mean by this all that all sides are equal in the rhombus. All sides are equal. Mean that AB in length is equal to BC equal to CD equal to AD. So the first property added to the parallelogram properties that all the sides are equal. Second thing, the diagonals are perpendicular. And I mean by diagonals perpendicular that they form angle 90 at the intersection point. They form angle 90 at the intersection point here. I don't know how why, why I can't shade it, but it's okay. Yeah. Third property, that diagonal bisects the vertex angle. And I mean by the vertex angle that these two angles are equal in measure. And these two angles are equal in measure. Bisects the vertex angle. Again, there are three properties belongs to the rhombus, but they are not belongs to the uh, rectangle. These three properties that diagonals are perpendicular, all sides are equal, and diagonal bisects the vertex angle. Now, which uh, quadrilateral we have? We have the square. The square have all the properties of the parallelogram, all the properties of the rectangle, all the properties of the rhombus. So we can say that each opposite side are equal and parallel, and all sides are equal from the rhombus. Diagonal bisects each other, and diagonals are equal, and diagonals intersect at right angle, which are perpendicular. So I can collect all the properties of the parallelogram, rectangle, and rhombus into the square. Again, I can say that each opposite side are equal. I can see that all the interior angles equal to 90 degrees. I can see that diagonals bisect each other, perpendicular and equal. And finally, I can see that both sides are parallel. And this is from the parallelogram properties. One angle of a quadrilateral is equal to 150 degrees. And I mean by quadrilateral a shape formed from four sides, doesn't have any properties in it. One of the angles is equal to 150 degrees, and the other three angles are equal. Let's assume that they are all, each one of them is x. I know that this angle is obtuse. It's not right graph, but it's okay, since you have the same idea. The three angles here are equal. The sum of the interior angle of the quadrilateral is up to 360. So 3x plus 150 is equal to 360. So by subtracting 150 from both sides, so 3x is equal to 210, divided both by 3, so the value of x is equal to 70 degree. So measure of each angle is equal to 70, unfortunately we don't have 70, so I'm going to change this one to 70, so the right answer is 70. Thank you. Which of the following is true about the theorem on rectangle, and I mean the properties of the rectangle? Is the diagonal are parallel? Of course not. Of course not. The diagonals are not parallel. There is no diagonals are parallel. Diagonals are congruent, yes. And I mean by the word congruent that they are equal in length. Equal in length. So I don't have to read the rest. Diagonals of the parallelogram are always parallelogram. We take the basic one, bisects each other. In the parallelogram, diagonals bisects each other. But they are congruent in the rectangle and the square, they will never be parallel, will never be parallel and perpendicular in the rhombus. Choose the statement which is not always true, not true in the rhombus. Diagonal bisect the bear, no, it's bisect the vertex angle. All four sides are congruent, yes, that's true. Diagonals are congruent, no. Diagonals are not congruent in the rhombus. Diagonals are perpendicular. Yes, it's always perpendicular.
the consecutive sides of the parallelogram are equal. So I mean by consecutive sides are equal, it means the opposite sides or all the sides are equal in the parallelogram. So it gives me a rhombus. It gives me a rhombus. So we need to change this one to rhombus because the sides are equal in the rhombus. Why I didn't choose the square? Because the parallelogram needs two properties to be square. One of them that have a right angle or diagonals are equal. Choose the statement that is not always true for the parallelogram. Is the diagonal bisect each other? No, this one is true. Is the opposite angle are congruent? Yes, this one is tr true. But the diagonals are perpendicular, not. So this one is not always true. Opposite side are congruent. This is true. Diagonals are perpendicular <coughs> in the rectangle. Question number seven, which statement is true? All rectangles are square, all quadrilateral are rectangle, all rectangles are quadrilateral, well, all quadrilateral are square. Of course, I'm going with C. Why? Because rectangle, all of them are four shape sides. Are four shape sides. Question number eight, consecutive angles. And I mean by the word consecutive angles, it's not the angle that opposite to each other. It's like the angle X and Y, not X and the X here, not opposite. These are consecutive. In the parallelogram, the consecutive angle are supplementary. And I mean by supplementary that their sum is equal to 180 degrees. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, and I'm looking for the value of Y. As we said, that one of the properties of the parallelogram that each opposite side are equal and parallel. So 3y minus 1 is equal to 26. So by adding 1 to both sides, so 3y is equal to 27 by divided by 3. So the value of y is equal to 9. The value of y is equal to 9. Sorry for the answers, but you can change one of them to 9. And the parallelogram a, b, c, d. What is the value of x? We know that the opposite sides in the parallelogram are equal. So 3x is equal to 18. 3x is equal to 18. So divided by 3, by divided by 3, so x is equal to 6. So the right answer is 6. Sorry for that. You can remove this all. So you can find the right answer is a. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. And I'm looking for the, is a rhombus. And I'm looking for the value of y. From the properties of the rhombus that the, Diagonal bisect the vertex angle. So each angle here is equal to 32. And the opposite angle are equal. So the value of x is equal to 32. But it's not the value of y. And we know also that diagonals are perpendicular, so they meet at angle 90. This angle is 32, and this angle is 90, so I'm looking for the value of y. So I'm going to add 90 and 32, give me 122. So the value of y is 180 minus 122 and this is give me 8 7 gave me 58 degrees so the value of y is equal to 58 as we said that in the rhombus the diagonal by safety the vertex so each one here is equal to 32 degree so this angle is equal to 32 degrees so x is equal to 32 and the answer is c